What is going on beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I'm having a beautiful day guys. So I'm just getting ready to head into a chest workout, right? So what I'm doing is just having my staple pre-workout meal, which is just chicken breast, potato, and peanut butter, right? Potato for the potassium and the carbohydrates, the chicken for the protein, and the peanut butter for a little bit of fat. So this digests a little bit slower throughout my workout. Now guys, something super, super, super duper exciting has just happened and this package, we're here. The one up, the thank you, become better has just arrived. So I'm excited to open that one up. I'm sure if you guys remember my last video, a lot of the I eat protein stuff came, which is great, but I was more more excited for the less supplements. So that's what we're gonna get into after that. So I'm just gonna smash this down and I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, let's get this on the road. Ah. Ooh, very, very nice. What a box. I gotta say, uh, last time I told you guys, this is the best box I've ever seen in my life. Still is, thank you, become better. That's the way to roll. All right guys, so got the list ups here. So gonna go down the line. This is just whey protein. This is the vegan protein, which is one of the main reasons that I actually decided to go with this company. Because of their actual vegan line, they, they're taking a little bit of a different approach to every other company, as well as a more health conscious, considering this is pretty much all natural flavoring. Got the pre-workout one up, got the BCAs, as well as some glutamine and creatine, which is a pre-real build. So yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun to test out these for you guys. Started to try this one out uh, for my chest workout today. See how the pumps are. It has got a ton of citrulline malate, right? 8,000 milligrams, eight total grams of citrulline malate, as well as it's got some agmatine. So it's got two things that work right there. It's got the citrulline malate and the agmatine, which are both uh, nitric oxides pump formulas. So that's the go, as well as there's a ton of caffeine in here. So you won't have to take a full scoop unless you're an absolute stim head. So I'm gonna take a half scoop. And that is the go. Now also I got uh, the coffee from the I8 protein. So this is whey protein and coffee, what a mix. Absolutely perfect, get your caffeine and your protein in, in one scoop. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix up a little bit of this and then head down to the gym, take you through that chest workout. Ooh, just a half up. Ooh, all right guys, so this one is key lime ice. So it's like a lime flavored pre-workout. So it sounds pretty damn good. Let's have a little nip. Mm. Okay, it's pretty fresh. It's a little bit zesty though, which is it was, isn't too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna sip on this and then head down to the gym, take you through that chest workout. Uh, if you did want to pick up these supplements from oneupnutrition.com, then uh, yeah, you can use my discount code. Save yourself 20% and then also I get a little kickback. So keep that in mind guys. So anyway, catch you in the gym. All right, what is going on guys? So welcome back to another workout commentary. So this one here is the chest workout and as per usual, warming up a little bit, just warming up everything, the lower back, want to get limber, nice and loose uh, before I head into the workout. So after I did my typical warm up uh, with the joints and the muscles and whatnot, I then did a little bit of foam rolling as my traps were a little bit tight. And I find that by loosening them up, you can actually get a much more stable base when you're actually trying to do the bench press and any other type of press that you might be doing for this chest workout guys. So first and foremost guys, I'm mixing things up now with the chest workout. So I'm starting things off with the incline dumbbell press, uh, focusing more on a hypertrophic workout. And as such, I'm going to be trying to absolutely demolish the upper pec as it is my weak point. So first and foremost, did a one warm up set of about 10 to 15 reps, not going too extraneous, just trying to form the right patterns within the movement. And then from there guys, what we're doing is four total sets of eight to 10 reps, increasing the weight on each and every set. So basically you want to start with a weight that's not too heavy. And then on the second set, it should start getting a little bit heavier. And then on the third set, it should be hard. And the fourth set is an absolute scorcher. So it should be as difficult as humanely possible. That's the rep scheme for this one. The next exercise guys is going to be the flat bench press. So I'm still going to try and focus on building up the strength in here. And as such, we're doing four total sets of eight to 10 reps. So it is a higher end of the rep scheme, uh, considering we're not really trying to build so much strength. So here guys, all you need to think about is trying to bend at the bar, right? So really good cue to actually activate the chest is by grabbing the bar. Once you're gripping the bar, you then want to think about trying to bend it 
inwards and that's going to internally rotate your shoulders which is going to help protect them as well as it's going to take the load off them and put it more so onto the pec which is what we're trying to grow here guys so we're not taking too much of a slow tempo we're just trying to bust out the 8 to 10 reps with uh, quite explosiveness right so you want to be explosive out of the hole so we are hitting a decent amount of fast twitch muscle fibers with this exercise here and then later on we're going to start doing a more time and attention type stuff so this one guys this is my absolute favorite it for really getting a nice focus stretch and squeeze on the pec muscles the reason is guys because you don't have to think about stabilizing the weight or anything really all you can think about is keeping your shoulder blades down and then pushing through your pec so we are doing this on an incline uh, and as such we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the upper pec so guys all you need to think about here guys is, is again as i mentioned before the cue of bending the bar is a good way to focus on the chest and then other than that guys you really need to get that mind muscle connection so that exercise there guys was four total sets of eight to ten reps again increasing the weight each set after that guys we're moving into cable flies now this here is a bit of a different one right so we're grabbing the actual cable not the handles itself so if you can think about this as you do a dumbbell press or a bench press you take your wrists at a pronated grip so from there we're going to take that and apply that to the cable fly now here without using the handles you can kind of get a better stretch and a better contraction honestly for me i can get a better feel for this uh, i would recommend giving it a go i find that you hit a little bit more of where the chest actually inserts into the shoulder joint as opposed to the mid pec so keep that in mind guys if you are trying to grow the mid pec i wouldn't so much recommend doing it this way so this one here guys is four total sets and then on the final set once you actually hit failure on the cable flies you then want to go into cable presses so you just treat it as if you were just doing a regular dumbbell press or a bench press and then apply that to the cables last but not least guys hitting a little bit of triceps because who doesn't want bigger triceps guys uh for reference guys your tricep makes out two thirds of your total arm so if you're trying to grow your arms the best thing you could do is train your triceps so here guys we're doing five total sets of rope pull downs uh, and then once you actually hit failure you're on the rope pull down for about 10 to 12 reps you then want to go into an overhead extension now i do it one of two ways either just bend down a little bit and get that leverage or I actually fully turn around and go the opposite direction overhead so that guys is a wrap up for the chest and tricep workout please give it a go guys i guarantee you your triceps and your chest will be absolutely torn off the bone and they'll be pretty sore right now tender as all hell Oh, vegan gain, vegan gain, vegan gain. My bit love to take vegan protein. Anyway, guys, so this is the vanilla flavored uh, vegan protein, right? So it is a pea protein extract. From there, guys, it's flavored with all natural stuff. So it is organic with uh, stevia, etc., etc. So it actually tastes really good. So as I mentioned before, this is one of the main reasons that I wanted to go with One Up as opposed to any other supplement company, right? Uh, and the reason is because they take this stuff into consideration, right? So me personally, when I start to have dairy a little bit too much, I start to see the effects of that, you know, in my skin, in my digestion and etc etc and whey protein really amplifies that so if I can put that down to a very very minimal amount then that's the best possible scenario so when I have that every now and then it's not too bad but if it's every single day then it's bad so instead I'll have this for the majority and then have the other one in the minority Mm. So yeah, it is super hard to actually find a vegan protein that actually tastes good. So this is absolutely perfect. So if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, or you have been noticing some negative side effects of having just whey protein, then I would strongly recommend this. Oh, all right guys. So we are back in the hell hole that is Chadston City because it is absolutely chaos. So it's two days post Christmas. So uh, for reference for you guys in America, we have a thing called Boxing Day, which is pretty much the equivalent of your Black Friday, which is the day after Christmas where everyone goes absolutely insane for some mad sales so it's two days prior to Christmas and that's still kind of kicking on so we're gonna try and take advantage of that also tiny got some gift cards which we're going to utilize and then from there we're gonna go to the beach boring shut up oh, wow guys what a freaking luxury it is to find jeans that actually fit as someone who has big quads it's freaking amazing so yeah not bad flipping right on buddy that is sick man and and what's even better $30. Sick. Sick deals. Well, my legs are not feeling 100% since yesterday doing legs, right? And also my split has changed up, so I'm doing uh, pretty different stuff. So obviously the stimulation is a little bit different. Stimulation. 
Stimulation. Stimulate. So anyway guys, we're going to the beach right now, so let's get on the move. Alright guys, having a little bit of road oats. So this is absolutely perfect. It is 36 degrees right now. So having the uh, cold oats is awesome. So it's oats, blueberries, banana, uh, peanut butter, cinnamon, almond milk, and then a little bit of that peanut butter chocolate protein powder, which I also got. Which, um, yeah, it's pretty damn nice. So I'm going to have this. Uh, as you saw there, mean tiny snacks and freaking deals, man. We didn't, we weren't actually looking for our jeans. I was going to look for a microphone. She was going to just look around. I was looking for a dress. Um, Ended up finding the perfect like jeans like you don't understand how hard it is for me to find jeans that fit me Right in the waist as well as the legs. It's pretty damn impossible. So to find them for 30 bucks I'm freaking freaking stoked mate. I'm freaking freaking stoked. I'm not freaking stoked. I'm freaking freaking stoked And then Tani also got some booty shorts, which is gonna be good for the summer So yeah, we're gonna be having a pretty eventful New Year's Eve night, which is gonna be good So those two will probably come in handy. So let's go to the beach. St. Kilda coming up. Three, two, one that I didn't bring swimming attire uh, because it actually is super duper hot. It's about 36 degrees Celsius. It's an absolute scorcher of a day. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here a little bit more. Uh, it's really super duper packed. So this is St. Kilda in Melbourne. And then, I don't know, I'll probably get some food because I'm still a little bit hungry. This water is super duper duper weird, right? So like we're like a bit out from shore and it's super duper shallow, but there's people like all the way out about 50 meters out from shore and they're just up to their knees. So I don't know, the tide's really low. It's not high, the tide is not high, but I'm holding on. There's something that's absolutely essential on a day like this and that is slope it. So I'm not actually positive if you guys have these in America, but they're absolutely essential here in summer. So it's zilched slurpy, so it's very little amount of sugar and it tastes Phenomenal, it's a good alternative to uh, the Diet Coke and whatnot, which Tony's an addict for. What you got? And the V. And the V, yeah. So anyway guys, that is a plan. We're just gonna hang around here a little bit more. Soak up a little bit more sun, try not to get burnt. And then yeah, we'll head on. Tony's got a dinner soon, so that will probably be the wrap up. <laughs> All right guys, so just having a quick look for a microphone, because this one just gets so much wind, as I'm sure you can probably hear a ton of wind right now. Comfy? You having fun there? So comfy. Ready? Oh wow. Boom. Oh wow, Tani, wow. Cool Australia, ever, dude, it's just, why is it there? It's just chilling. Middle of nowhere, not decorated. They did not have it. No comprende. Man, these guys never have freaking anything, Harvey Norman. All right guys, no luck with the other one, but um, frick it's windy, probably can't hear me. Oh, jeez, it's hot in here. Oh, that's much better though. All right, guys, so that is going to be the wrap up for the video. I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, be sure to give it a like so I know and I'll continue to do these type of videos. Also, if you are new here and you did enjoy the video, do subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, it's okay. You still have time. Go quickly, hit the subscribe button and you can join the family. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoyed making it. I'll catch you in the next one later. Oh, Oh, then I'd oh, 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 oh